peekaboo, peeka, peeka, peekaboo. Oh, we got a baby bird who needs to learn how to fly and he's having a tough time, friends. He's having a tough time. The title says, my name isn't Oof. Warren the Warbler Takes Flight. This book was written by Michael Galligan, illustrated by Jeremiah Trammell, and this book was published by Little Bigfoot. Oh, let's find out what happens. Here we go, friends. At the edge of a nest, on a brink of a branch, wobbled a warbler named Warren. Warren peered at the forest floor far below. His three siblings had just taken flight, each boasting, I'm flying. Now it was his turn. Warren's striped wings trembled. He didn't know if he could do it, but he was a bird after all. So he took a deep breath, shut his eyes, and stepped into the air. I'm, and he fell. Oof. Warren sat in a daze atop pine needles and moss. Even his feathers hurt. A chipmunk bounced over. Are you okay, Oof? That was quite a crash landing. Yes, I think so, Warren said, blinking. You forgot to jump, Chipmunk said. A mouse skittered up. What happened to him? Oof, forgot to jump, Chipmunk chirped. Like this. Chipmunk took a running leap and knocked Mouse into a mushroom. I thought I did jump, Warren objected. And my name isn't Oof. A squirrel skipped in. What's going on? Oof forgot to jump and spread his wings, Mouse squeaked like this. Mouse jumped, swung her fuzzy arms, and bonked Squirrel in the nose. I thought I did jump and spread my wings, Warrens protested, and my name isn't Oof. A rabbit hopped over. What's so serious? Oof forgot to jump, spread his wings, and flap, Squirrel chittered, like this. Squirrel lost her balance, tripped on a twig, and bumped Rabbit into a sword fern. But I did jump. I did spread my wings. I did flap, didn't I? Warren insisted. And my name is not Oof. skunk waddled up. What's all the commotion? Oof forgot to jump, spread his wings, and flap. And he didn't land on his feet, Rabbit reported, like this. Rabbit hopped up, tried to flap his stubby arms, and landed with a flop on top of skunk's head. Maybe you're right. Maybe I did forget to jump, spread my wings, and flap, Warren admitted. But that was my first try at flying. It was, Skunk sniffed. And I was scared, Warren said. You were, Chipmunk asked. Yes. Warren stood up tall, brushed himself off, and spoke up. But now, thanks to all of you, I know I can do it like this. Warren jumped, spread his wings, and flapped hard. He was in the air, but then he wobbled. Uh-oh, Skunk said. Warren swerved to the ground. Look out, Robert Rabbit cried. Warren wavered left, then right. Take Cover, Squirrel yelled. Mouse dove under a mushroom and Chipmunk scrambled underneath Skunk's tail. But Warren kept flapping and soon he was flying. Zee, 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 he warbled with pride. He did it, Chipmunk sang. 
Warren circled the others, brushing over them with the tip of his striped wing. Hooray for oof! Everyone cheered. Warren zoomed past his nest to the top of his tree and he sang down to his new friends on the forest floor far below. And my name isn't Oof, it's Warren. And then the author gives us all this cool information about what kind of bird Warren is. I love learning science, don't you friends? He is a beautiful bird. I wonder if you've seen a Warren. My name isn't Oof. I miss you, friends. Mwah.